and shitlands, how's it going? Welcome back to PBTV, the best fishing channel on freaking YouTube. Today, we're gonna be working on the boat a little more today. So, goal for today is to uh, try to get the gas tank pulled out, get her all siphoned out of water and gas, whatever nasty crap is in there. And um, by the way, you're not allowed to use that for any illegal activities. So, siphon it, pull this board off, throw that oar away, vacuum out the whole son of a gun. And uh, we're gonna see where we're looking after that. So I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse and I'll show you guys how to, how to get this gas tank all cleaned out and stuff. So stay tuned, let's get it rolling, baby. Okay, step number two to doing illegal things, make sure you got your line. Right here we got like some aquarium line that I got. So I'm gonna be throwing this down our gas tank tube hole right here. Get her on, thread it down in there. Just like so, make sure she's down in there and see if we can get her started there, I don't know. And then we're gonna try it out. So hold up here, let me put you all down. We're gonna, like again guys, don't be using this crap to do illegal things. Shove your, uh, shove your rag down in here so it creates pressure. Well, boys, as you can see, I got her somewhat pulled out. Couldn't get it to siphon worth of crap, so decided to pull it out. But as you guys can tell, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You guys see that? Broke there. Fuel neck hose up here is broken half too. Like, yeah, so fuel neck hose fuel pump I don't know where the heck that wire is but got to find out where that fuel pump wire is probably put a new fuel pump in it too might as well just finding more and more stuff huh well let's get this bad girl yanked out of here and see what we can find out huh well guys we did get it all the way completed so we got the gas tank out here as you guys can see Needs wire, needs all new freaking new freaking hoses all the way around because that's destroyed. The throttle, not the throttle neck, but the uh, the fuel neck in there completely destroyed. All this stuff just needs replaced, all of it, every single piece of it. Then we're gonna take this out, see what the hell is in here because if you guys can hear it, we got some crap in there, and I'm kind of interested in what's in there. Look at this fuel, guys. Can you guys see that crap? It's all orange and sloshy and nastiness yeah ugh. so we need to clean this out clean this up um replace the fuel neck get that tore out of there take this off throw that away vacuum it all out and uh i believe we can do that and then we can throw those big batteries on the charger and then we can throw all the electronics on there and see what we got see if we got tilt see if we got trim all that stuff and uh See if the live wells and the bilge pump and all that stuff can fire up at least a little bit. So we're going to try that out here probably tomorrow. So you guys stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead, hop inside of this deal and see what we got going on inside of there. Well, y'all, we got, we got the fuel pump out. With the float and sending unit, that's not supposed to do that. Here, let me give you a little better example here. Put you down a little stabler. Look at this, guys. You know, it's supposed to be like super free floating. Like I'm trying to twitch it here. It sticks up or sticks down. There's like hardly anywhere in between, guys. So, this is trash. Need a new one of these. Gotta keep this just in case I, you know, I had to freaking, it was stuck up like this when I was trying to pull it out. So I had to end up, you can see the mark here, I had to freaking smack it with the damn screwdriver to get it to come out, lower down so I could actually maneuver it out. So we'll keep this for a part number, make sure we get the right one. And it's about time to clean this bad boy out. So let's get to it, dude. I'm excited to see what's inside of there. guys so we got the water hose over here we got the inside of the boat sprayed out let's see what we get out of this deal
Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Look at all that crap right there. All that just came pouring out of there. All this, I don't even know what the heck that is. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you've ever seen anything like that. What is that? It just came straight out of the gas tank and it still breaks. Breaks apart. It's red. Some crazy stuff, guys. So let's see here. I'll blow it all around over here. See here, here's another pot. Here's another piece. Oops. You guys, you, you guys have any idea what this is? You guys even see that hardly? Here we go. Here's a little bit of sunlight. I don't know, but like I said, watch. I can just take fingers and break them. I don't know, but a crap load of it came out all through there. I don't think it's rust. A little thick for rust, didn't it? So, anyways, like I said, we sprayed the inside of this out, trying to get some more, uh, some water out of there. Y'all sprayed water in there to get the gas out. I'd rather have water evaporation than gas sitting in there and being nasty. So we're gonna keep blowing water in this deal. We got this all tanked out and washed out, obviously. Next step, take that off over there and throw that crap away. Throw this away vacuum out the inside and let's see what kind of boat we got afterwards. We got the freaking panel undone. All the hardware is off, as you can see over here. We kept all that. And did you guys know that you can make a flat blade? Oh, wow. They keep zooming in all the damn time. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the damage done over here. Huh? Look at that. Freaking destroyed, boys. So we're going to get a broom, get all this out, because I don't have an extension cord long enough to uh, vacuum all this out. So we're going to. We're just gonna sweep it out, take all the crap out, which should do the freaking trick, make it look 10 times better. Then we're gonna go downstairs, hop online, find price tubing, price, uh, you know, the fuel pump or the sending unit, whatever you wanna call that with float switch. And uh, let's get to it, boys. We'll uh, be on a time lapse uh, sweeping out that crap, so. <laughs> gosh guys look at this it looks 15 times better all the way around dude so now I'm gonna take my hose and spray all of it down and we're gonna see how it looks after that guys because I mean look at that that looks 10 times better after this I think I'm feeling a little rambunctious guys so I think I'm gonna go ahead take this carriage stuff off right here take these carriage bolts out so I can redo that uh so I can redo these uh piece of wood here and it's two by six or whatever they are one by six so i think i'm gonna take these off the hinges take that off go under there get the carriage bolts dude this boat will be immaculate then we're gonna hop on the internet find that thing right there the, the all the hoses we need and the freaking felt like sending unit and then after that it's all wiring and battery stuff and finding what goes to what so y'all stay tuned let's get this cleaned up boys Well, y'all, 
we got everything good. We have it cleaned up, looking freaking spiffy, dude. Look at this stuff, man. Excuse the tires, but geez, this whole thing is looking 10 times better than what it was. Need to wet sand this and get some of that off of there. But overall, look at that, dude. That looks pretty damn good. I think I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of that or do something, let that water flow through there, because there's a wall right where that seat's at. Won't let water get in and go out, so. I don't know, I might drill a hole, might not, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, so. Got that old nasty uh, cardboard, or not cardboard, damn wood out. So that looks a lot better. Gonna have new tube of sixes on each side just, uh, for extra support. This is all draining out now, looking good. Dude, I'm excited to how far this thing has come. Just in one day, how far this thing has come, dude. It is, it's amazing, it's immaculate. I'm going to uh, see you guys downstairs when I start uh, looking up part numbers for that bad boy. So. One last look around here. Oofed. And uh, see you guys downstairs. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. So if you guys liked what you saw, if you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe down below, because we have made some awesome progress today, in all honesty, and there's just more to come tomorrow, and I need to get those batteries charged up so we can see if all the, like, all the electrical stuff, track all that stuff down, and see what does what. So, you guys, I am super excited about this video and this series, so please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will see you in the next PV TV episode. Thank you.